Well, you can certainly hear them, but some say you can't always see them. An ambulance driver in Saskatoon says he's got the answer. Chris Epp has more. For almost 30 years, Randy Erickson has been rushing to and from hospitals. But the high speeds and crowded roads mean sometimes it's the ambulances that end up in accidents. So we have to drive really defensively when we're going through intersection because we got to realize that people aren't going to see you. People don't automatically stop whether they see you or not. And that can be a fatal mistake. In 2001, Saskatchewan had 240 accidents involving emergency vehicles. Three people were killed. Those numbers are similar across Canada. And American statistics show that an EMT is five times more likely to be in a collision than anyone else. That's why one manufacturer has created an ambulance it says nobody can miss. The first response of everybody that sees is it is probably uh, shock and amazement. Uh, it, it is quite a, quite a departure from what, you're, what people are typically used to seeing an ambulance look like. Uh, the yellow-purple combination... The new design is actually based on human behaviour. Purple and fluorescent yellow are the colours most visible to the human eye. Similar emergency vehicles are already on the roads in Europe, but right now they're not allowed in Canada. Each province has strict regulations as to what an ambulance can look like. In Saskatchewan, they must be white with a narrow orange strip. Those regulations were brought in 30 years ago to distinguish ambulances from all other vehicles. But some say those rules are obsolete. Since the 70s, a lot has changed. The size of the vehicles on the road have changed. There's a lot more commercial vehicles that, uh, that are a similar size and shape and color uh, as, the, as the old ambulance standard. But the government isn't convinced. It says the current design is still relevant. The primary reason uh, for having that standardized color scheme for ambulances is uh, instant recognition. And so we've developed that recognition amongst the public and, and other service providers over the years. And so there would have to be a, a very good reason to change it. But Crestline Coaches hopes provinces will change their minds and make this the new standard. Chris Epps, CBC News, Saskatoon.